Welcome to Finance School. Uh, in this video, I would like to discuss about the covered interested parity. So covered interested parity is based on the arbitrary relationship between the risk-free interest rate of two currencies and the spot and forward exchange rate. For example, if uh, the spot exchange rate of one euro is equal to $1.25 now, and uh, the interest rate of uh, euro is 2% and interest rate of dollar is say 4%. So in that case, uh, one uh, an investor can do, investor can invest one euro at the rate of 2% and at the end of the year, they will get uh, 1.02. On the other hand, uh, if uh, the investor convert that euro uh, into uh, dollar at the spot exchange rate of 1.25, then the investor can convert one euro and get 1.25 now. So if the investor invest this 1.25 at the rate of 4%, then at year end, the investor will get 1.25 multiplied by 1.04. So the amount will be 1.30. So in a covered interest at parity, the investor would like to be hedged. The position should be covered. So there will be no um, exchange rate risk. So the investor will sell this $1.30 at the forward exchange rate and get the euro at year end. So question is, what should be the forward exchange rate? So forward exchange rate uh, should be established in a, a way so that there will be no arbitrage opportunities, which means if I convert this $1.30 into euro, uh, my euro amount should be 1.02. Otherwise, there will be arbitrage opportunity. So if we convert this 1.30 into a euro uh, such that it will be uh, 1.02, so then my forward exchange rate should be 1.30 divided by F equals to 1.02. So the amount must be equal to 1.30 divided by 1.02 so it should be equal to 1.2745 so the forward action rate should be 1.2745 and the relationship is uh, such that i am investing 1.25 which is the spot action rate uh, at the rate of four um, percent so spot action rate is multiplied by one plus uh, dollar risk free rate and it is divided by one plus uh, 0 0.02, which is the euro uh, re risk free rate. So, this is the forward rate. So, uh, the exchange, spot exchange rate was uh, 1 euro equals to 1.25, and the forward exchange rate uh, is equal to 1 uh, euro e equal to 1.2745. If you look at, uh, at, at spot, uh, the euro is 1.25, and at forward, the euro is priced at 1.2745. So which means euro is uh, trading at a premium. On the other hand, the dollar is trading at a discount. So according to uh, covered interest rate parity, which currency uh, should be traded at premium compared to the spot exchange rate? And that will depend on the interest rate differential between the two countries. So the currency that has lower interest rate should be traded at a premium and the currency that has a higher interest rate should trade it at at a, a discount. So here the euro is um, 2% and the uh, USD is uh, 4%. So um, uh, since the euro interest rate is lower, so euro should trade at uh, a premium. So we can see that uh, the euro is traded at 1.2745. So uh, it is uh, trading at 1.96% uh, above the spot exchange rate. So 1.96% is roughly 2%, which is the different uh, differential interest rate between the uh, two currency. So covered in, according to the covered interest rate parity, the currency that has lower interest rate should be traded at a premium in the forward market compared to the spot market. And uh, the currency that has higher interest rate should trade at a discount. So now I would like to show you what would happen uh, if the uh, forward action rate uh, was, for example, uh, one rather than 1.2745, say, the forward exchange rate is 1.27. So if the forward exchange rate is 1.27, then um, in the forward market, uh, Euro, Euro's price is uh, lower compared than what it should be. So since in the forward market, uh, the Euro's price is lower, then we should buy the uh, Euro at forward uh, market and, uh, and uh, borrow the Euro at uh, spot. So if we borrow uh, one Euro at the rate of 2%, then uh, my uh, future liability will be 1.02. So I will I will convert one euro into 1.25, and I will 
invest that 1.25 uh, at the rate of 4% and we'll get the future value of 1.30. And then if I convert that um, uh, USD, 1.30 USD into forward exchange rate of 1.27, then my amount will be 1.30 divided by 1.27. So, so it will be 1.30 divided by 1.27 so my future uh, amount will be 1.30 divided by 1.27 should be equal to 1.0236. So from this 1.0236, I will repay my 1.02 amount of uh, liability, uh, which I borrowed and with the interest I will pay 1.02. So 0 0.0036 will be my arbitrage opportunity. So if you can do it with a few million dollars, so then and the arbitrage of profit will be uh, much higher. Uh, but the problem is uh, with this, uh, the covered interest of parity, assu uh, parity assumes that there is no transaction cost and the country risk of the same of the two countries are similar. So, uh, the, since there will be an arbitrage opportunity, so every investor would like to sell euro uh, uh, or borrow euro at the spot market. Um, so you, you will have a short position in euro and in the forward market, uh, investor would like to buy euro or sell dollar since um, euro is uh, cheap in the forward market uh, or alternatively we can say uh, dollar is uh, expensive in the forward market so uh, since the covered interest rate posi position is hedged uh, which means investors do not take any currency risk so there will be some arbitrage opportunities so those arbitrage uh, action taken by different investors will force the uh, currency and interest uh, interested into a scenario where there will be no arbitrage opportunities. So if I sum up uh, the covered interest of parity, according to the covered interest of parity, it shows the no arbitrage relationship between spot exchange rate, risk-free interest rate of the two currencies and forward uh, exchange rate. Uh, so the country whose um, currency, um, currency's interest rate is lower should trade at a premium in the forward market and the currency whose interest rate is higher should trade at discount in the foreign market and the forward discount or premium should be equal to the interest rate differential of the two currencies. If you like this video, please uh, feel free to um, uh, ask uh, questions about us if you have any and uh, please uh, do subscribe to our video. Thank you.